Good morning, everybody. I am very pleased to participate in this meeting of the ECOSOC Youth Forum that celebrates its 10th anniversary. The COVID pandemic has disrupted every aspect of our lives, especially the lives of young people. It has imposed strong limitations on autonomy and sociality by reducing the spaces for participation and encounter. Young people are perhaps the group most severely hit by the containment measures. In addition, the pandemic has increased inequalities. Participation is the main objective of the European Youth Strategy 2019-2027, to which the youth policies of the Italian government are inspired. It is fundamental that young people are involved and meaningfully consulted in relation to policies that affect them. This is why Italy, which this year took over the presidency of the G20 and the co-presidency of COP26, has created ad hoc youth participation spaces, the Y20 Summit to be held in Milan in July, will allow young people to entrust to the leaders of the G20 their recommendations on sustainability, climate change, innovation, digitization, and inclusion. In September, Youth for Climate, Driving Ambition, is the second important event on climate change dedicated to youth. 400 young people coming from the 197 countries that have ratified the UN Convention on Climate Change will have the opportunity to draw up concrete proposals for the pre-COP 26 of Milan and the COP 26 of Glasgow. At the national level, in order to create spaces for youth participation and a dialogue with policymakers, we are developing an interactive web platform called Youth 2030. The name originates from the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable development. The platform also responds to the right of young people to have access to accurate and objective information that meets their needs and questions. Last but not least, Italian youth organizations are proving to be important players in making proposals for the recovery and resilience plan. I promise you that we will do everything we can so that our young people will not be disappointed. Thank you.